Pets are important, large and small. They're fun to interact with, they're calming, and oh, they come with health benefits. <laughs> Pets keep us happy, give us mental stimulation, and I can't imagine life without them. But there's one pet I haven't had in a long time, and that's a snake. The story starts during my sophomore year on a PE field trip to the golf course. I was there, I was doing a wonderful job at golfing, probably getting like 900 over par on every hole. But there was one event that helped make the trip that much more exciting for me, and that was that I found a little snake on the course. Now, the responsible thing to do would be to leave this little snake in the bushes, off the course, like my PE teacher had told me to do. <laughs> but instead of doing that, I instead decided to put him in a little plastic water bottle filled with twigs and dirt, its natural habitat. <laughs> I smuggled him home on the bus and kept him for the entire summer. He was a really cool pet to have, actually, at first. He was fun to hold, he was cool to watch, and I really enjoyed having him around in the beginning. Eventually, because it was a wild bull snake and I wasn't responsible enough in handling it regularly, it got bigger and meaner throughout the summer. And eventually it got so mean that I took it back up to the golf course and released it in the area, like I was supposed to do in the first place. <laughs> With it in my care, I realized that while it was a pet, it was not a companion. Snakes are not dogs or cats or even hamsters, and they don't have much in the way of emotion, although I could tell that this snake did not like me. <laughs> snakes don't recognize you. They, you can't teach them tricks. You can't let them roam free, otherwise they'll crawl into your bed or your cereal box and give you a nasty surprise. All you can really do is teach them to tolerate you. Snakes are happiest when left alone. And while that makes them relatively low maintenance pets, they don't need the attention that a dog needs. You're also not going to bond with them like you would most other pets. So the question is, why would anyone want to have a snake? Personally, I think snakes are beautiful. They come in a lot of patterns, colors, species, and huge variety of sizes, shapes, behaviors, and to an extent, personalities. Some can be docile, some are less so. Unfortunately, snakes are probably only a good idea to keep if you already like snakes to begin with. Otherwise, it's sort of like buying a lawnmower without a lawn, and it's a waste of time and money. I, on the other hand, would love to have a snake. I think they're really cool. Unfortunately, the college I'll be attending won't allow me to keep snakes. I don't know why. It's not like anybody's afraid of snakes. But with all the research I've been doing in secret, without anybody knowing, except all my classmates, I feel confident in my ability to keep one. Looking back, um, my snake was a really cool pet to have. Like I said, it was fun to hold and interact with at first. And it even got me some street cred. Not really, people thought I was weird. <laughs> Overall, I think a snake would be a great pet for me to have. Thank you.